Thank you very much. Uh, it's been a great pleasure to uh, listen to the conversations since the morning. Uh, so I would like to really thank uh, Center for Governance Studies uh, Chairman uh, Dr. Manjur Ahmed Chowdhury and uh, my good friend Zillur Rahman, Executive Director. Whenever I attend uh, Center for Governance Studies events, uh, I am really uh, uh, very pleased because of the fact that uh, we are all able to listen to various different views. So it's not just one perspective, but uh, quite a number of pers perspectives coming together uh, and providing us uh, the big picture. So I am uh, particularly uh, grateful uh, for that nature of this uh, of this event too. So uh, we, are, we are asked to speak about re-exploring Bangladesh for the new world order and I will uh, try to do so uh, within the limits uh, of my time. Uh, it's an important topic and uh, I will try to also benefit from the conversation that we listened this morning and um, also uh, I will also argue that um, the image of a country is very important indeed uh, and I think what uh, Bangladesh a country like Bangladesh uh, who which made a, a huge progress uh, within the period of 50 years is extremely important uh, to rebrand the image of the country. Why? Because when you rebrand your country's image in accordance with the progress that you achieved, it affects your trade, it affects your tourism, it affects whether your, the talented people, your citizens, will remain in your country or will go out of your country, or whether you can attract Talent, talented people from other countries. It affects the influence of the foreign policy. It affects your soft power. So after all, the image of a country is extremely important. I know this from my own country also. You know, there have been and there are still quite a number of prejudices against Turkey and our history and culture and whatnot. But we are overcoming this by incorporating the progress that we make into the rebranded image of our country in every field, including the economy, the, the um, science, technology, um, defense industry, in every field, education, culture. So I think when we look at Bangladesh, um, I mean, we all know that um, we all know about this recent article writ written in the uh, New York Times, um, which was not a sarcastic article. It was registering a certain progress that was achieved, and it was not also sarcastic to suggest that. You know, the, the poverty uh, alleviation, especially for children in Bangladesh, could be an example for the United States. It was written by someone who really knew what he was writing. So I think um, I really like what the minister said uh, when he said, uh, you know, this is not just us. It was the success of everyone, every government that was involved since the independence. So I think everyone should take credit of this, uh, of this progress. And 
you know, there are ripple effects. It's not just in New York Times. In my country, uh, just recently, a very prominent think tank called TEPAV, TEPAV's president, uh, in one of our um, most popular newspapers wrote an article titled How Bangladesh Proved Kissinger Wrong. And yes, Bangladesh proved Kissinger wrong. From the bottomless basket to now we are debating whether uh, the uh, economic model, the development model that Bangladesh has uh, put forward can be a model for the rest of the world. Yes, it can. And I'll tell you why. Because, um, I mean, some speakers talked about uh, the problems that uh, the country faces, the challenges. We are all changing various kinds of challenges in our own countries. So, so does Bangladesh. That doesn't prevent us from recognizing what we, we were able to achieve. And obviously there is a, a strong correlation between when you look at the periods in which Bangladesh has grown, it, it uh, co uh, correlates uh, with the period in which democracy in Bangladesh was uh, progressing as well. And uh, that link needs to be remembered because when democracy uh, flourishes, uh, citizens are mobilized because they think they can have a better future if they work hard, if they participate, not only in the economy, but also in the decision-making, then the whole, uh, the totality of the, of the human resources can be mobilized. But if a certain segment of society can, uh, is, is upset, is not uh, in, included in the, in the system, then of course it's a pity because then the, ho the potential of the country cannot be fulfilled. So I think that's why the, the democratic process is really important and I agree uh, with those who argued for the importance of rule of law, independence of judiciary and corruption. And yes, uh, we should not hide these issues just to preserve the image uh, of our countries because you know when you hide try to hide no one can really hide any of these issues but if we try to hide any of the sort of issues that we, ha we are facing that doesn't really improve the image of our country it becomes a propaganda obviously uh, so the best way to rebrand a country is really to acknowledge the, the progress that we achieve, but also acknowledge the challenges that we face and the, the efforts that we put into addressing those challenges. I think that's what uh, Bangladesh is doing. And the current government is very sincere, I believe, in um, acknowledging the progress, but also uh, trying to address the challenges. Uh, Bangladesh's image uh, can be rebranded with many of its um, of its very uh, competitive qualities. For example, um, let's take foreign policy. The friendship to all, malice to none. This is a policy that really makes Bangladesh a country which spreads peace and stability, not only in its own region, but also to the whole world. I think the contributions Bangladesh has been making to the UN peacekeeping forces is not well recognized. I think that one should be really underlined in, in many different ways uh, when rebranding Bangladesh. I think the secular nature of governance in Bangladesh is not very well known either across the world. I think for a Muslim country, 90% uh, of its population, uh, secularism and the fact that secular governance 
is implemented uh, is an important element for for rebranding a Muslim country in the world because there is a problem with the image of Islam too. It's true for my own country too. It's not because of Islam, but it's because of the stigmas attached, because of the some of the lunatic terrorist attacks around the world, which somehow tarnished the image of Islam. So. Bangladesh is a resilient country and its people is well known for their resilience. It's another element that needs to be put into rebranding Bangladesh. I can talk a lot about this, but I've been warned to, to finish, so I will finish in one minute. So, literature, Tagore, Kazi Nazrul Islam, you know, that, that their philosophy, their uh, contributions to humanity need to be incorporated in rebranding Bangladesh. I won't talk about the, the economic success. Some people call it miracle. But yes, that needs to be really highlighted. You know, how this was possible and how Bangladesh can turn into a manufacturing hub in its own region. And yes, it's possible. Because I see it from the private sector in Turkey the interest that they have, you know, I, I've been receiving calls every day since I came here and people want to know more and they will know more if Bangladesh is rebranded according to its own uh, well-deserved uh, success. So I also very much liked uh, what Dr. Ali Riyaz said future is made today and uh, by being stuck in the past we cannot really move forward so I guess what we need to do is really to to settle our accounts with the past in whatever democratic way we will do and look to the future because future will be different much different than yesterday and also much different than today. And we have to be prepared for it. And when a country is rebranded, obviously it should also be rebranded together with its partners. Because when a country's image is good, that country has a lot of partners. And Turkey has always been very close to Bangladesh and will remain so in the future. And we are extremely excited to see the opportunities, knowing the challenges, both in terms of our political ties, but also, more importantly, in terms of the welfare of our people. I think the economic, trade, and investment opportunities have never been so significant not only between Turkey and Bangladesh, but also Bangladesh and the rest of the world. If Bangladesh is rebranded in the right way, it will certainly take its deserved position, not only in its region, but also in the whole world. Thank you.